This is the Flymo XL500 petrol hover mower. It's a Honda 5.5 horsepower engine, four stroke, which means the actual engine contains its own oil. First of all, I've not started it now for, well, since I came home, so it's not been started for a couple of weeks. So I'm gonna try starting it and you'll see how well it starts. better than that does it so it does start very very easily without any problems at all uh, I really like it I've only used it once uh, the wife has used it a couple of times but she says it's too difficult to manhandle so all the time the actual engines running it's fine you can move it around fairly easily but it is it's quite heavy uh, and it's quite bulky to transport so this morning I took delivery of a wheel set for it and in a minute I'll put the wheels on it and uh, and try moving it around to see what it's like with the wheels on. So I decided to buy it without the wheels because I figured I wouldn't need them. But in all honesty, I think if your wife's gonna use a machine, you do need the wheel set. I'll just give you a look under the, the hood so you can see what it looks like underneath. It's actually designed to be tilted on the side so that you can see <laughs> to get at the blade and stuff, but only on one side. And there's a little convenient uh, sign there that tells you which side you can tip it. The actual depth of cut uh, behind the blade there, there are two spaces and you can either remove or replace them to give you the depth of cut. One thing I will say about the carriage when it arrives is it doesn't come with any tools to put it together. And the screws are the safety type with an unusual head. So unless you've actually got the equipment uh, that fits it, you're going to have a problem assembling it. Yes, I'm impressed. Uh, I'm not impressed with the carriage, £94, and that's the cheapest I could find it. Uh, you would think it would lift it higher off the ground and stop the base from scraping on the floor. I'm a little bit disappointed with that. Uh, starting, yeah, it starts way easier than any other mower I've had. It's very easy to cut the grass with it, although at the same time, it is hard work. Yeah, I'm glad I bought it. If I, if I, would I recommend it? Yes, I would. But with reservations, uh, I don't like the idea that petrol runs out of the engine when you tilt it back on the wheels and you need to tilt it back to stop it from scratching on the floor. Uh, and I think the wheels are a little bit fiddly to use, they're not simple. You have to take pins out, pull out little retaining clips and that type of thing. Uh, but on the whole, it's a fine mower. I think if you were just using it to mow your lawn, it would be brilliant. Uh, and it is great on inclines as well because it's so light when the hover bit starts. But if you actually go along the incline instead of up and down it, it's floating about all over the place and very difficult to control. Although you can drop the wheels down and keep it in place to some extent. But at the very end when I was walking down as you'll see, even with the wheels on the floor it was, it was sliding down the hill. So there are some problems with it but I'm glad I bought it and uh, I hope you like the review. Thank you very much.